Hello everyone, in today's tutorial I want to show you how you can get perfect vector images in your Unity 3D and uh, what that means is uh, no matter how close you zoom up or how far you zoom out your images will not get distorted and they will not lose that sharp um, perfect pixel element that they have and that is essentially what a vector um, image is um, for example, if you see right here, I have a sprite that I've been working on in um, Adobe Illustrator. And right now, if I hold shift and expand one of these corners, you see here that no matter how big it gets, it doesn't lose that perfect, um, I said a perfect uh, it doesn't get distorted it, it doesn't lose its perfect sharpness right then you see I can get really close here everything looks perfect right and you can actually achieve the same thing here in unity 3d and you see no matter how close I get it still keeps that nice sharpness and I'm gonna show you how you can achieve this as well so let's get started First off the bat, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a new, not a new scene, I'm sorry, a new project. And I'm just going to call this uh, Vector vector Project, right? I'm not going to save this, to be honest with you. A Unity 3D has just loaded up, and once it's loaded up, I am actually just going to change a couple of things. I'm going to change it from a skybox just to a solid background. And I'm going to pick a color that I like. Maybe like this red-ish. Purple. Good. There we go. Now, the format, the file format or extension for the vector object would be a... Uh, SVG. I'm going to show you how you can save that out right now. So whether you're making your own vector or downloading one on uh, from online, the format you're looking for here is the SVG. And with Illustrator, um, you can find great Illustrator uh, templates, um, kind of like you can for Photoshop. Uh, pre-made things out there that will help you know keep your game nice and beautiful I'm just gonna hit save as and I'm gonna choose here from this uh, list the SVG desktop is good and I'm gonna name it test or vector test and I've saved that to the oh not yet now I've saved that to the desktop so I'll close the Illustrate. I don't need this anymore. So this is the vector, the SVG file that we just saved. If you try to drag this into Unity, you see it still comes up as um, a Internet Explorer file. I'm going to actually delete it because there's one other thing we need to do to Unity before this will work. And as for on your desktop, it will always remain a, a Internet Explorer file. But it is still a vector. You can see it opens up in your Internet Explorer or Chrome, whatever browser you have set as your default. And it's still very nice and crisp. You can zoom in as far as you can. It's still a very pretty. It does not lose any of its. Uh, it doesn't destroy. It doesn't lose anything. And that is exactly what a vector is. So in order to get this to work inside your Unity. So you can create some beautiful 2D games. This is what you need to do next. All right, so I moved myself out the way. All you gotta do is go up here to Windows and click on Project Manager. You see a couple of packages here by default. What you need to do next is click All. Believe it or not, Unity has some great packages that do not show up by default. You just have to go back here to snag them, right? Uh, things like the 2D purple, uh, Pixel Perfect, uh, the Open VR for those building VR games, 
There's also the Pro Build and the Pro Grids. Unity, Unity recently bought those guys out, so you can actually go ahead and download these for free and have them within your um, within your project. And then finally, what I'm looking for is this one, Vector Graphics, right? Go ahead and hit install right up here after selecting the Vector Graphics. At the time of the video, it's version 1.0.0. After it's finished, um, there's no real like pop-up or alert that lets you know it's finished. Um, but you can go ahead and close this. And if you look in your little package folder that shows up here, there's usually a vector graphics folder. That's one indication that it's completely installed. And now, if you drag the SVG file into your Unity, you see that it doesn't show up as a website or a uh, Internet Explorer file anymore. You actually start seeing that image. Let's drag this onto the scene. I'll make my 2D. Let's get in there a little closer. So you can see how small it shows up here on my game view. But if I went ahead and make it bigger, It's not losing any of the, it's not getting distorted, it's not losing any pixels or any of the beautiful sharp and crispiness that it has. And it's indeed a vector. You can get as close as you possibly can or need to, and you have that same very, very beautiful uh, 2D element to create your beautiful 2D games. And that's all for today, guys. As always, subscribe for more. Leave a comment or a like if this video helped you. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.